Hello fellow Wildcraftians and Wildcraftian pixel populations. Today we're going to do a highlight of a bucket plugin that is featured on the Wildcraft server. And we're going to do it today with our friend Harvey over here who is a creeper. As in he is a creepy spider who has been watching me through this window for the last mm, 40 minutes while I set this up. But anyways, the bucket plugin we are featuring today is going to be called Into Chest and it is exactly as it is, as it says it is into chest basically what happens is, is you take a crafting table like this and you have a chest now the biggest problem we run into is when our chests fill up oh, then we gotta take all this crap and sort it I've gone ahead and filled this one up with sand just to uh, to help uh, speed things along so what happens is you drop your crafting table and this crafting table is going to act like a, uh, a transfer device to this chest. Anything that I put on top of this crafting, t uh, crafting table, or anything that falls on top of this crafting table, is going to go right into this chest. Of course, our chest is full, and just to make things easier, because I am such a bad aim, I like to place blocks over it like this. And then... When I drop this redstone on there, you're going to see it disappeared. Wow, where did it go? Well, it didn't go into there, and the reason why is because that chest is full. But if I break this block, and ah, voila, there it is. So that is one of the things that happens when a chest is full, they'll start popping up on top. But what's going to happen is, is as you see, we have our crafting table, and now we have our chest. The cool thing here is we can take this redstone, unpowered, and we can run it here, drop a chest and now look what happens when we drop redstone boom and where did it go ah it went into this chest but that's not all there's actually more which is actually really really cool I'm a huge fan of red power and so I kinda missed this uh, this sorting strategy that uh, that goes on basically what the Yager did was he made it so that you could sort which items go down a path. So we're gonna lay out our redstone here and we're gonna make different paths just like this. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna leave a gap and then we're gonna drop, ah, crap. We're gonna drop one redstone there, redstone there, redstone there, redstone there, redstone there, redstone there. At the end of each redstone we're gonna drop a chest, another chest, and that chest. And one more just for good measure because I think I have this plan for four items yes I do alright and now this is the cool thing Oh, looks like I'm hungry I better eat me some bacon there we go alright so you can filter the items that go into here into different chests by dropping a sign now this is awesome so in this test or down this line we want wool and I hit enter because I don't know for some reason it doesn't work for me any other way so this sign says wool what happens is when I drop wool on this it's gonna go down this line and it's automatically gonna be filtered or prioritized by the sign and now we're gonna get nothing but wool that's gonna go into this block pretty cool huh so and now we're gonna drop another sign I'll call this one filter it for dirt and we're gonna drop this sign and we're gonna filter it for glass and one more sign and we're gonna filter this one with redstone and hit enter alright so when I throw items onto the crafting table it should send wool into this chest send dirt into this chest send glass into that chest and finally redstone into this chest let's test it out first we need our dirt and we need our glass and we already got our redstone so let's drop it here Boom. And there's a wool. Now for the dirt. And finally for the glass. And let's go check it out. Ah, our wool is in the wool. Our dirt is in the dirt. And our glass is in the glass. Now this is a really cool plugin. It can have a lot of applications. The limit is really up to you. I have found that I was unable to send two redstone wires down the same line. For instance, if I were or two signs down the redstone wire. 
So place a uh, if I place a redstone here, and I place a chest here, and if I were to drop another sign here and name it something, I'm not gonna name it because it doesn't work, but I guess because of the second sign it breaks it up. Now you can put multiple items onto a single chest filter or a sign filter I guess is is the right uh, the right word we're looking for here. So we have wool going down here and let's see let's eliminate the glass and let's say we want the glass and the wool to go into this chest so we go glass separate it with a comma and then wool and hit done and now when we drop our wool and we drop our glass they should both inhabit this chest that's pretty cool now remember all you gotta do is separate it by a comma now the other thing too is you can do block IDs I find it easier just to do the English name um, I'm not sure if it's case sensitive or not it also works if you are going to be doing some auto farms or mob farms you place your source block just like that you have your crafting table which is right there at the end and I got my little chest here and that one's already full of stuff connect it with the redstone wire just like I discussed previously grab some sand put it down here I'm just gonna toss it in there <laughs> shut up Harvey I'm tired of listening to you and dun, 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 dun. and as we can see they're disappearing and where do they show up not in there probably because I didn't fill that chest up let's check yep they're just stacking with that so this is the into chest plugin highlight um, this is really cool for servers if you're not gonna run red power and uh, and sorting machines and all that other cool shit this is equally cool on a uh, much limited amount but uh, yes I hope you enjoyed this, and I will all see you later. Have a good day.